This isn't going to be your typical vlog. Ken and I both have a lot of studying we're doing around finals time. We're not really doing anything interesting. It's just kind of us cramming, studying, and we're at the library, and it's just it's just boring. So this week, we're going to do something a little special. I'm just going to talk to you guys about my abroad experience. So I got about two weeks left, so kind of excited to go home. But kind of kicking off, starting the process of going abroad, it's a difficult thing. You know, you're going to have to um, go through your school Sometimes you have to write essays, you gotta apply to the school you're going to, and you wanna find somewhere where there's no language barriers. You know, if you speak another language, great, you have a lot more options. I do not, however, so I had to pick somewhere that was English speaking, and also you have to pick somewhere that kind of benefits your major, or at least have credits transfer back so there's no graduation problems. Your school should help you out with that, though. So for me, I chose Ireland because I have kind of family ties to Ireland. My grandfather was Irish. Also just, it was a really cool place. They had a great business program and I kind of learned that through one of my professors. And so I just kind of went for it. I had a couple options. I was looking at Australia, some places in Africa, and this one kind of seemed like the best fit for me. So I just kind of dove in, finished all my applications and went for it. The trick with abroad is you really do go through a roller coaster of emotions you know you're obviously super excited to get there and you get there and it's awesome and then like that first week is just crazy at least it was for me because you're an entirely new environment you have no idea who anyone is you don't know how the schools work you don't know what what's like where to go in the city like you miss your family and friends from back home you got some FOMO going on because all your friends are sending you snaps and you're just like I'm not doing anything cool yet so I just feel like I'm missing out and I totally had that. I was calling my mom and McKenna like every day, talking to them, complaining. I'm like, I wanna go home. I don't wanna be here. And that was definitely a, a hard first week. But then kind of once you familiarize yourself, you meet a couple people and you do some fun things, that all just vanishes and you completely don't care about anything else that's going on back home. So that definitely passes. You're not really missing too much. You have to realize that your abroad experience is truly unique. There's a lot of people that don't have this opportunity. And so just like, really embrace it for what it is and enjoy it and do some really fun life changing cool things. So kind of next and the most like important part is what I really enjoyed about my abroad experience. So one of the big things I did right away is I joined a hiking club and this was a ton of fun. I'd never been in a hiking club. I am an outdoorsy guy but I had never done anything like this. I had to buy some hiking boots and pants because they take it pretty seriously but I was able to go to Gugain Barra as the first trip, and it was just gorgeous, beautiful day. It wasn't like Ireland weather, there's no rain. That was a beautiful first like introduction to Ireland and just like, bam, you're in it, you're doing something cool abroad, beautiful pictures, and just, it was a ton of fun. Uh, and then my probably favorite trip of that was the Gap of Dunlow. And I didn't go on the hiking portion of this trip, I actually ended up joining the kind of mountaineers this time and so it was like rock climbing and I had never done outdoor rock climbing before and so it was difficult, it was fun, but I accomplished that and there's just really cool people. It was a little more laid back than hiking and so that it was just the most beautiful place to be and so I, I completely love that. And I would definitely recommend if you could join an outdoors club, go see you know, the nature uh, sites kind of around where you're staying. You know, there's so many beautiful places in this world and it's like, it's less touristy and you kind of really get a feel for the people and kind of the, the country you're in. It's really cool. Uh, secondly, I joined the lacrosse team and lacrosse here, not so serious, but still a ton of fun. I was able, I just kind of did it to, to keep with the game, to teach some other people kind of what I knew back from the States and just like, meet more people and I mean that's the biggest thing about going abroad is you're just gonna make so many connections it was a ton of fun I was able to go to a tournament up in Dublin and kick some butt I had some sweet shots and so that's definitely a memory I will always have I wish I kind of would have gone on some of the other tournaments but you know it is what it is also when you're abroad I would totally recommend 
just going to all the bars and the restaurants and the different places nearby, just familiarize yourself with the city you're in, like to a T. I would totally recommend if it's possible to walk or bike around your city because then you can just like pick up on landmarks, you're, you're gonna see more. And then when people are talking to you or asking you to meet up somewhere, you know exactly where that is. And when you're kind of in a foreign place, it is pretty important. Um, lastly, kind of like another highlight of being abroad is if you can get friends or family to visit. My Nana fortunately visited me around Thanksgiving and you guys saw that in uh, like two weeks back in the vlog. And that was a ton of fun. And I, I loved every second of that with her. And so if you can get someone to kind of like bring a little bit of home to you, that'll be huge, especially like when you kind of hit that middle slope in abroad where uh, kind of the shininess of the new place kind of fades and you're like, okay, I've had my fun, now I wanna go home. And that's kind of where I'm at right now is I'm just kind of done with Ireland. <laughs> you know, it was, it was fun while I had the run and, and now I'm ready to go home. But if you can get like a little piece or like if you can have people write to you or send you stuff or just literally anything to connect you, it'll make it a lot easier when you're kind of hitting those low points of, of missing things. So kind of my last little segment of this short vlog is recommendations for if you were to go abroad or have an abroad experience is make travel plans. I wish I would have traveled around Europe more and I would have kind of budgeted accordingly. And I th a lot of the friends I had that did stuff like that had trips planned from the get go. They knew exactly where they wanted to go and they booked flights immediately. If you can do that and you kind of know and have an idea of what you want to do and you can work around your final schedule, I would totally recommend you go ahead and do that. Like it it saves the uncertainty, it kind of forces you to do some stuff, and you're just gonna have even more cool stories to tell when you get back home. Oh, this is big. Uh, the next point, have an unlocked phone. My phone was not unlocked, AT&T would not unlock it, and so I had to get an entirely new phone with an Irish data plan on it, and so I was able to like have maps in case I got lost. I ended up not needing the phone as much as I thought I did, which was a bummer, but it would be so much easier if I could just pop in a SIM card and it would it would be good. And I just had my Irish plan and that would just solved everything. So unfortunately, that wasn't the case, but if you can do that, definitely go for it. Really just enjoy the city you're in and just don't take anything for granted. You know, I found that I was really able to connect with like who I am and like being separate from my family and friends back home, I was able to kind of do a lot of stuff on my own, which is huge. Like I, I used, to hate being alone and like I always wanted to be doing something and I found like sometimes I enjoy it the most is I'm just walking through the city with my headphones in on a nice sunny day and I'm just I'm just chilling and you know that's that's honestly those little moments that sometimes you forget in the bustling life in America because I, I will say at least life in Ireland is a lot slower than in the States and so if you can just take a step back and enjoy that I would totally recommend you do that. But honestly, that was my abroad experience and those are kind of my simple recommendations. If you ever have any other questions uh, regarding going abroad or just wanna know more about my experience, feel free to comment in the comment section below. And as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.